Holy tits, guys. You will not believe what I just skied. This place is incredible. It's paradise. Check it out. What is cracking adventure, buddies? Recently, a friend's dad told me about some stellar hidden glades somewhere around here. He's never seen any other people. He's never seen another set of tracks, which means they're either very well hidden or they suck. According to him, it is some of the best backcountry skiing in Vermont, which is saying something. The crazy part? The access is located right off of a well-known hiking and cross-country skiing trail. As you can see behind me though, I have even seen some people skinning in on touring gear, which means they know something I don't or I know something they don't. Ooh. My friend's dad only gave me rough directions, so it will be an adventure. Let's do this. What do we have here, guys? These look like the tracks of a freaking Articat. The Articat is the fiercest beast in the Vermont wilderness. If you're not careful, it'll sneak right up on you, chew you up, and spit you out the back. Oh shit, there's even a sign that says no Articats. Yeah, right, like they're gonna listen to that. <laughs> Right now I am skinning in on the hiking trail. It's actually fairly well beaten. Clearly, a lot of people use this for snowshoeing. Prime skiing conditions right here. See a couple other sets of ski tracks too. Let us hope they not go where we go. It is an absolutely beautiful day. Mid 30s, sun is out. It's so pretty. Sparkling snow. Here, listen, you can hear the sound of trickling creeks. Can you hear that? Probably not. Snow is probably gonna get a little bit sticky later in the day as it warms up, but I mean, look at this snow. It's fluff, it's powder. So you can't really see this all too well, but I started right down here. That's where the parking lot was. Followed this trail up to where I am now. And this is when the fun part begins. I want to try to get up to this saddle here or even over here more to explore that bowl area because it looks pretty decent. So that's where I'm going to try to get. Oh, my God, I am getting toasty. I'm not even to the steep part yet. This is just a gentle hiking trail. Also, the snow is starting to get real sticky, it's starting to build up on my skins and making it slow going. As if eight-year-old Telemark boots weren't heavy enough, I now have another two pounds of snow stuck to the bottom of each ski. That's fun. I can see myself turning into a big sweaty boy as the day goes on. Fuck. Got snow on my skins. Well, this right here behind me looks like a good a spot as any to start breaking my own skin track. If I head too much farther that away, down the hiking trail, I'll end up trying to skin up a ravine, which won't be fun. I don't want to get sucked into a river. Yeah, I would definitely not want to get stuck trying to skin up this. So, gonna head up there. It's really good stuff. Look, just like raisins and carbs. Delicious. Hmm. Okay, well, here we go. Oh, yeah, that's some sticky snow. Just skinning up a hill in the middle of nowhere. Who knows where I'm going? Cause I sure don't. Probably gonna get lost or find some epic skiing or both. Ooh hoo hoo, what do we have here? Look at these tracks. My guess is either uh 
They're a mountain goat or a five-eared rabbit. I, I can't tell. Yeah, definitely a five-eared rabbit. So currently I'm not really heading in the direction I want to be. The topography is sort of forcing me this way, whereas I want to be going that away. But it's mean, pretty steep. I can't skin up that. This way it is until I can go that way. But this way for now, until that way opens up. So this way, not that way, until I can go that way. Yeah. Oh yeah. No. No. Shit. Huh. Okay. Round two. Easy. Yeah, easy. Oh, Jesus. That's pretty yellow. Think I should drink some more water. Yikes. Ooh. Oh, man. We got some big boys here. Check these out. That looks to me like the giant New England snow salamander. Which, fun fact, only has two legs and uh, uses its tail for balance, walks like a T-Rex. Learn something new every day. Oh yeah, feel it right in the baby cows. Oh. Okay. Cool, more salamander tracks. Look, more tracks. I bet you these are either the 12-toed titmouse or the uh, leprechaun hen. Upon closer inspection, it looks like the rough-sacked tree warbler, actually. How am I supposed to skin with this much snow Stuck to the bottoms of my skis. Guess I just gotta, just gotta suck it up and, ooh, oh, there we go. Never mind. All right, guys, I made it to the top of the ridge here, as you can see, and I was gonna check out that bowl in that area, but it looks like if I go up a little bit further, I can gain some elevation and get even more vertical going down in this area assuming that it is open, so that is what I'm going to go check out. What are these? More skin tracks? Oh no! One other person has been here. That can't be good. Must keep going. Right now I'm just following that ridge that I pointed out on the map, trying to gain at least a little bit of elevation. Ooh. Nope, gotta keep going. Oh my damn. Look at this. Oh boy. This has potential to be epic. Look at wide open glades. You got the sun peeking in through the trees over there. It is paradise. A sweet view of that mountain over there. This is gorgeous. I'm actually following someone else's skin track right now, but it looks like maybe two other people and a dog have been here. I'm okay sharing it with one or two other people. I can handle that. If this isn't backcountry skiers paradise and I don't know what is. This is absolutely stunning. Holy balls. <laughs>
Oh, Echo. So this place is all state forest, which means if you can find it, you can use it. But judging by the one or two other ski tracks that I've seen here, not many people know about this place. This place really is hidden in plain sight. It's The access is right off of a hiking and cross-country skiing trail, which makes it all the more surprising that more people don't know about this. You only get about 500 feet of, of vertical quality over quantity, right? These are just perfect, perfect glades. <laughs> It is four o'clock and starting to get dark, so it's about time that I head on up over the ridge and back to my car. But I have to say, these are, well, if not the best glades I've skied in Vermont, definitely the second best. Beautiful open trees, quick laps, northern exposure so the snow doesn't get too sunbaked. I mean, the snow, the snow on the southern side of that ridge was, was sticky and, and heavy, but this stuff, this stuff here is just all powder. Well, six inches of powder on top of the crust that was there. Maybe one day I'll show you guys my favorite glades in Vermont. Stay tuned. Oh yeah, just some good old Vermont skiing. You know, the usual. But you just sort of gotta... And then you uh, some incredible skiing here. Incredible. <laughs> Only car left in the parking lot. Whoops.